Hey folks, JD here, and today we're going to be playing a game called A Land Goes Crazy. Now this game was given to me very kindly by the developer who hit me up a couple of months ago and asked me if I wanted to play his game for free, and I said, yeah, of course, man. I'm more than happy to play anybody's game and, and to put it through its paces and to give you an honest, uh, an honest uh, review of what I think. Now... I have already been playing this game, I think, for about 70, where's my mouse, for about 72, for about 85 minutes. So I'm going to start back from the beginning again, and we're going to be going through it uh, from the beginning. But I just want to say that I'm so far enjoying this game. There are a few things that would be quite nice to have added and things to be changed. Uh, but I'll go through that during the game as and when we get to those points. So, but first of all... I'm really quite enjoying it. I'm playing this using an Xbox 360 controller. Um, the idea of the game is this is an action roguelike game. You play a little ball of goo that goes through these many different worlds, different waves of loads of different goos, and you try and regain memories, and then eventually, hopefully, I think you can then uh, vanquish the, the, the king. So you play this little guy down here. See if I can jump. There we go. <laughs> it's very cute. The goos are very sweet. The play on words are fantastic. Uh, and the whole idea of this bit is now you've just met met Butler Goo. He doesn't. He he. You've now you don't remember who you are at this point. You've now got to progress to the Dreamcatcher, who is just here. We have a little quick chat with him, and then we go into the Dream World for a little battle. So this battle is the the AI will pick or compute will pick whatever team you are oh, I, which way is it going Ooh, I think I'm team green yes I am because there are two little dots at the top so there's a main dot next to the name team green that identifies which team you are then underneath each of the teams you will have a little arrow that points so then you move those arrows back and forth and your teams battle and then whichever whichever team wins all this basically means is that when you progress past this 2 minute and 30 mark into the main adventure game, you either get plus uh, damage, you either get plus statistics or you get minus statistics. That's basically what this means. So just using your Xbox 360 controller and your left analog stick, or you can use the key, the keys as well. Just go through and when those arrows pop up underneath your team name, just move the arrows across and then you will be battling the opposite side there are loads of power-ups that are drop in. Your your team as well as the other team will pick up the power-ups, which can uh, can uh, aid you in this in this battle and in your quest. And in one minute and fifty-eight, we'll be getting into the main portion of the game. So as we're just battling it out here, I think it's quite. Um, Poignant to say that I was quite confused when I first played this. I didn't really understand what was going on. It's only because I've been playing it again and again and again that I've been able to sort of suss out what's been, what's been happening here. It would be quite nice if um, there would be a little explanation as to why you've got a battle, as to what you're what you're trying to achieve. Because I've gone right through the game and I've got into a really high level and again i still found it a little bit confusing as to as to you know from a story driven perspective as to why. That we are battling out and why we are why we are progressing in the way that we are maybe it becomes apparent at the end of the game i don't know but it would be nice to have a little something that just says this is what you've got to do and this is why like you're now going to go into a battle screen you've got a battle to get positive stats or negative stats before your adventure there we go we won team green fantastic so now we should get when we next go back to the next screen and we we talk to butler goo again he gives us a cape and then with that cape, we transform into a more humanoid style looking goo. And then we get into the main portion of the game, the part which I absolutely love, which is the action adventure game. So here we are again, the hidden one. Now in the top left, you'll notice there's a little version of us and with a little line after it. That's the stamina line. All right, while we're waiting for Butler, let's have a little look at this book as well. Oh, Butler's just grabbed us. Okay, let's do this first then. So you won't get far without the necessary protection. Please take this. This is a cape. So there we go. So by pressing B, hopefully we should don the cape, which then transforms us into this lovely looking creature. And this is how we are going to be performing the rest of the game. It's like this. 
So let's just go through a couple of things before we progress. Top left, that's you. The little beige yellowy line, that is your stamina and the green line underneath those are your health points. Butler, if you've got any gold, which is displayed up in the top right, at this point, you can buy some stuff off him. I don't have any gold, as you can see, so none of this is going to be any of any use. But I guess the top would be, the heart would be health. That would be stamina. I don't know what these two would be. No idea. But still, in saying that, we've got no more need to talk to no talk to Butler. And in the, in the right-hand side there, you can see we have plus recover, plus stamina, plus critical chance. I think it said that. And that basically means... That because we won the battle, we now get all those plus uh, attributes added to us automatically. This is the first world. I love the art style. Absolutely adore the art style. It is such, such a nice... Very, very... Oh, hang on, it's killed Gozerka. There we go. <laughs> it's, it's very beautiful, very bright. Even when you go to the darker levels and they're almost sort of hellish and nightmarish, they're still quite bright and still quite beautiful. All these different goos are phenomenal. I love the different play on words. I think that is very clever. There we go. We just collected 44 memories from completing that one world. After every world you complete, there's then a boss section. And these, they were Guado. These bosses really, really ramp up as you go through the game. So these can spawn other other little enemies. As you can see, Guado has now spawned Goof, Goofender. But I think Goofender's actually gone over to the right-hand side of the screen. There he is. And they can keep on spawning these as well. My stamina points are down for the second, so let's have a quick little look at this book. So this book here, this gives you... Uh, a good understanding of who you are, what your memories are up to uh, uh, up to that point as well. So memory show plus 52, which you can also see reflected on the top as well, where it says memory. You've got your dexterity, your force, your wisdom, toughness, and your best run. Um, if I, sorry, press the wrong button. If I then push R2, it then shows you your attack, your critical, your HP, your defense, your, uh, your, inv your inviolate, uh, your speed, your stamina, your jump, your bounce, Gives you a lot of good, um, gives you all, 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 all the keys are redefined here. Your main attack, your sub attack, your pro attack. And then gives you whatever weapons you have there as well. So from a weapon perspective, you can push Y to fire. I think it's like an arrow, I, I believe, or, or, or a mini dagger. Or you can use X, which is your main attack, which is your stab with your, with your, with your sword, with your dagger. Keep an eye on that uh, on your stamina too that does go down but it does regenerate quite easily so you haven't got to wait too long before you're back in the action so you just take a little bit of time out like i've got to do now fortunately there's that really nice sort of pulsating motion on your stamina that shows when your stamina is down collect the hearts from the gurus they will also give you health as you're going through the game you meet traders and the traders will give you better weapons you can then upgrade your weapons from blacksmiths which gives you better attack options. There we go. So then at the end of every boss, you get a break me, you get a little stone or something, or a bit of gold or more gold or an A power up of some description. Right, here we go. Here's our little shop guy. So using your gold in the top right, you can then purchase various things. I have no idea what any of this is. I'm not even gonna, I'm, <laughs> you know, I think that's a purple cucumber pickle. I think that's broccoli. I think probably, probably one is stamina, one is health. They don't really color code, um, but then if you've got enough, then you can you can buy whichever you want. So I'm gonna buy the pickle, pickle gherkin thing, which has just given me more HP. So now my HP maximum is 20, and that's it. So then on to the next bit. The next world is pretty much the same as the last world. We get loads of different ghouls that come in. We then destroy the ghouls. Then we go to the next boss battle, and that's pretty much that's pretty much the game in a nutshell. Um, there we go. Lots of different gurus, lots of different play on names. Different gurus have different abilities, like this guy here is ice, so therefore he does blast ice particles at you, ice cubes at you, which do freeze you and slow you down. The one thing that made me keep on playing, apart from just the fun little animations and the name of the and the name of the gurus, like Vamp, Vamp Gula, um, is the music. I find the music absolutely beautiful. 
every single world has got a different musical score. There we are, we just collected more memories. We've got 203 now. On to the next box battle, which would be Gunaro. <laughs> there he is. So, of course, as he's a boss, he can... There we are. He gets more troops coming in. So, we've got loads of Gooserkers in at the minute. The game is fun. The game has got replayability, I think, with achievements. Though, if there were... And I know achievements are pretty difficult and time-consuming to put into a game. But if there were about four or 500 achievements then you would keep on having to come back all the time. Replay value would be huge while you were then taking down the various gurus and trying to get those harder to, harder to achieve achievements. Oh, the Gunaril is taking... I'm taking a battery in here. I don't know why I'm standing there. I should be running around the place. So later on, when you, when you pick up more power-ups, you can then use uh, R2 and L2 to dash... I don't have that ability yet, but it is really warranted once you get past, I think, the, the fifth or sixth screen. Oh, God. He's got all his health back again, and he's even grown in size. All these Gooserkas are massive. My health has taken an absolute battering. You can run through the enemies without losing health. It's only when the enemies attack you do you lose health. But then in saying that, I don't have any power-ups that make my health regenerate quick. So they do, it does regenerate really slowly. And my HP now is now gone from 5 to 2. Ooh, now to 3, I picked up a little heart, which is good. Oh, I've got, I can't see, I think my health is down to, is that 0? Zero? 0 health points. My god, this is not good. Oh, that's it, I'm done. <laughs> that's it I died in the boss room there we go so back to being the hidden one now when you go back to the beginning interesting enough you have not got to go through the whole game again you may have seen on the screen there you do get you do get uh this is at the point of the game that where after you 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 battled in the dream sequence you go back and you you have a chat to butler and you get given the cape so this is where you start off the game again now which is interesting I like that. I like you haven't got to go back and battle again through the different the different uh, dream sequences, because albeit that's warranted to give you your 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 critical chance and your different stats, it is a little bit long winded. There we go. There we go. So I've spoken to Butler. I've done everything I should have done there. Now I can advance. That's another thing as well. I only know you've got to speak to him because I go to the end of the map. And it doesn't progress me. If that does happen, you then gotta go back and speak to speak to the different the different gurus. Come on, here we go. Sweet. Take down that one. Now, if you notice as well, the amount of memories that you you scored. Zomgu! <laughs> the amount of memories that you scored uh, on your first time around will remain with you. And that is the case all the way through this game. I've never replayed a replayed a level where um, I've had to go back and I've started off on zero. Apart from when I've quit out of the game, then you start back on zero. There we go. World one completed. Now we progress to a little boss fight, same as we did last time. Now I would quite like it if these were randomized because playing these levels are fun, and I do have a lot of fun in doing in, in playing them. But it would be cool if they were randomized, or if you had three or four different starting points that when you started again the game again you started on a slightly different level i thought that would be that would be quite cool because the replay of value does drop slightly when you have got to play the game all over again and you start off on the same levels it's not too bad like with me now i only got to like the third or fourth level that isn't too bad to start off again from the beginning but if you've then as i in my first playthrough i got to I think I went through 14 levels or 15 levels and then I had to go back to the beginning um, and that was that was very annoying <laughs> not gonna lie that was very annoying oh gotta get the few coins there we go get rid of him get the health there we go and then break that last little power up there we go our little shop guy 
So 40 gold. Let's get some more health. I'm going to need that. And that's all I can take. So let's progress as my stamina is rebuilding. I do like that. That is a really cool little fact that even when you're in the shops, a lot of um, action adventure games will have your stamina and stuff stop. It won't regenerate. Whereas in this one, you're in the shop, your stamina regenerates. I like that. So when you then get onto the battlefield, your stamina is back to where it should be. Oh, there's a succubus. Make sure you don't collect those bad hearts, the one with the, the cheeky little grins, because they will, well, as a succubus does, right? Your life will um, become hers. Just take life off you. Gugantua. I gotta let my stamina rebuild. And my goose. Okay, I've got a, somehow, must have been from somewhere, I picked up a, a power-up that freezes enemies, because I've frozen this in a few times. In the bottom left, you can see your power-ups. There we go, we've completed that. Now on to the boss level again. 447 memories now. Here we go with the Gooneral. I'm going to see if I can... My stamina is not looking good, but I'm going to see if I can take down more of his Goozerkers this time. Earlier said than done, because he brings in a load of different troops, and that causes me nothing but headaches. Right, run over here, let my stamina rebuild. Oh, go away, Gooneral! My health points are down to zero again. Quickly, gonna keep on running back and back and forth. I'm gonna hope that my little bit of health does regenerate now and again. And I'm able to run past them because they're not they're not attacking me currently. Oh, that was an attack, but I just managed to get past it by the look of it. My health is not regenerating. Luckily my stamina is. And I am getting rid of these little gooserkers. <laughs> I don't know how I'm managing to get past everybody and not. Oh, I probably shouldn't say it, otherwise I will, right? Oh, no, it's even more of them now. Oh, it's going to be good night, Irene, to me very shortly. Quickly! <laughs> Oh, he's growing, he's huge! Right, good, you're down, I can take you. Good, I'm still gonna let my stamina rebuild. I'm just having to, having to try and, try and hit everybody when I can. My stamina is not in a good place. Ah, oh, no, I gotta keep away from him. But if I can take down some of his other ones at the same time. There we go, good, two are down. Throw a knife, run past. Rinse and repeat. And again. See if I can get rid of these Goozerkers as quickly as I can. Oh. I don't think their health regenerates like the Goozerkas does. I might be wrong, but I don't think they do. I mean, I quite like the fact that I'm on zero health points, but I have no idea how I'm still alive. Oh, I'm dead. There we go. <laughs> well, that was good, right? I enjoyed that.
There we are. And then you go back to, because it's all within the same game, you then go straight back to the beginning and you start off on the save game. There we go. Right, folks, I tell you what, I think I'm going to leave that there. I've really enjoyed this, though. I think this game has got a lot of potential. I love the amount of time and effort that the developer has gone into building this game and to making it such a beautiful, lovely landscape for you to traverse. I love the parallax backgrounds. It reminds me a lot of Shadow of the Beast, Shadow of the Beast 2, and the music in itself really draws you into the different, to the different levels, the different worlds. I think what I'd like to see, though, I would like to see an achievement base... <sighs> I would like to see uh, achievements in the game that would just add mass replayability. I would like I would like to see a little bit more explanation as to what you've got to do right at the beginning because it did take me there was quite a learning curve to get around to figure out what the hell you've got to do. I'm still unsure as to why you've got to do what you've got to do, but I'm having a lot of fun in playing it. So do you know what? That's 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 all that matters from there. I think as indie games go, we've got to support the indie developers, same as indie musicians. They really need people's support. So if you see this game, you'll find it in the description. Have a little look at it. If you think it's something you might be interested in, click the link and give it a buy. I certainly am going to have a lot more fun playing this and seeing exactly how this game evolves over the coming months and years. All right, my friends, thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD, you've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy gaming.